family cars have a problem, squeezed on one side by increasingly large compact hatchbacks like the Focus and Golf, and on the other by people carriers, sports utilities and coupes, the large family car risks becoming a niche few want to buy into. So Citroen's all-new entry into this still fiercely competitive area is intriguing, not least because, out of nowhere, they've produced a cracking-looking car. It stands out in the car park brilliantly, where you wanted to hide the previous C5 behind a bush. There's a cohesiveness to the design, helped no little by the move from a hatchback to a saloon. Look at the stance of this C5 on the road, so assured and so well planted. The theme continues throughout the car. The interior is classy with good quality plastics and clear controls. Seats are firm but comfortable and this car's steel suspension provides a good compromise compared to the air sprung system available on pricier C5s. Top marks for steering wheel buttons though. There's 20 in total, something of a record for me. Down this side we've got the cruise control and telephone. Whereas here we've got sat-nav and the car stereo system. But more interesting still is the way this boss in the centre of the car stays static when the steering wheel turns. It's not the first time it's been done on a Citroen, but it still has this weird sensation when you're driving along. It gives this car a real unique kind of wacky touch, which is probably what we've come to expect of Citroens in the past. This particular C5, the 1.6 litre HDI diesel, sends out some mixed messages. 110 bhp is ok, but 0 to 62 miles an hour in 13.4 seconds will never win any awards. Still, the torque at low revs means this version of the C5 is a quicker proposition than you might think day to day. You've probably seen the adverts on the TV and in the cinema where a German driver mistakes his Citroen C5 for something from the fatherland. Well, that's not going to happen to you or me because even in the sport setting on the suspension, the C5 is just a bit too floaty and not quite as positive as all its German rivals. Its natural home is on the motorways and on sinuous roads like these, both of which can be tackled at high speeds in great comfort. Even, surprisingly, with this small diesel, which offers the added benefits of a sub 150 gram CO2 figure and the promise of 50 miles per gallon. Cheap to run then? Not if this C5 plummets in value like the old one. The pundits are saying it won't, but we'd rather hedge our bets a while longer just to be sure. The good points? There's that pleasing new design, a roomy and comfortable interior and the much improved driving behaviour. On the negative side, the minor controls are complicated, it's still no German driving machine and we're slightly concerned about how well it will hold its value.